Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Aquarius. Uh, this is going to be for January 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So will your ex come back? Okay. Um, so these are for the Aquarian individuals that are currently entertaining the idea of wanting to reconcile with an ex or an ex wanting to reconciliation with you or both of you guys are looking for that so we're going to take a look and see you know what your mutual energies are between you and your ex and then we'll take a look and see how you guys uh separate it what caused the separation and um we'll finish off the read to see if there's going to be a successful re reconciliation between you guys okay so um we're going to take a look at your mutual energies um, I think I already said that. Oh, so just apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aquarius people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below, okay? So tell me about Aquarius and their ex here. What are the mutual energies between Aquarius and their ex for January 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aquarius. Now, even though I'm asking about the mutual energies, you guys, uh, it could be just one of you guys thinking and feeling this way. So just apply this to your, to your own unique situation, like I said. We have the Hermit here and the Eight of Wands. Someone here is coming out of Hermit mode here. Whoever this is, someone here has done some in, in, deep inner work, soul searching here. Um, so whoever this is, this person might be coming in with a, you know, a, a fresh perspective of what happened to, between you guys, okay? So let's see, the Hermit Virgo energy and the Eight of Wands here. We have the Devil here and the Eight of Cups. Someone here is trying to come back around. But, you know, I just feel like, you know, you could have been in a very toxic situation with this individual. And I feel like you're walking away or that you're going to continue to walk away because I feel like you don't want anything to do with this person. We have the Devil here. Capricorn energy with the High Priestess here and the Ace of Swords. So I feel like you're trusting your truth here. Okay. I feel like you're trusting your intuition. Uh, you know, I do feel like, you know, you know, I do feel like it, when this person comes back, I feel like you might be a bit shocked here and, and you might kind of like maybe even lean into allowing this person to talk to you. But I feel like, you know, this time around, you just know better. Aquarius. Tell me about the her Hermit. Hermit. Why is the Hermit here? Cancer Pisces with the High Priestess here is the Six of Cups, the Eight of Wands here, and the Page of Wands. Yeah, we have someone here that's missing you a lot, okay? Someone here could be coming in looking for a reconciliation. Whoever this is, I feel like this person is excited to share this pr uh, fresh, pr uh, fresh perspective that they gained uh, while they were in hermit mode here, uh, uh, Aquarius. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, the Devil here. Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups, and the Magician here. Whoever this is, I feel like while this person was away, I feel like they were trying to manifest you back, manifest you to come back. Whoever this is, Ace of Cups, the devil here, this person's completely obsessed here with you, very obsessed with you, obsessively in love with you here, Aquarius. Tell me about the uh, High Priestess. And we have the Five of Wands. Tell me about the uh, Ace of Swords and the Five of Pentacles here, two fives. What I'm getting here is that while this, while you were separated from this person, um, I feel like you've changed a lot as a person here. Yeah, I just feel like you have gained perspective here th too. Yeah, uh, you know, I just feel like you just don't have time for the conflict, the arguments anymore. I, I just feel like for you, you, you just sort of like are, you know, perhaps you are done with this. Okay, tell me about. Um, the, uh, what caused the separation between Aquarius and their ex? What caused the separation here between Aquarius and their ex for January 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs here for Aquarius. We have the Nine of Pentacles here and the Ten of Cups. 
We have the Eight of Swords here and the Fool Aries energy could also be Aquarius energy and the Seven of Cups here and the Strength card. One of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, it could be a situation that someone here just wasn't really vulnerable here with you. This is so interesting. I feel like this person is not vulnerable with you, but then they feel like this person is more vulnerable with random strangers. It could be a thing that, you know, with random strangers, you know, it's, it, you know, it's kind of like they're not really, you know, your person's not really building any relationships with them or anything like that. So it's kind of like a one-off sort of thing. They'll never see them again. But with you being vulnerable, you know, I just feel like this person's scared to show you their flaws, but they don't mind showing it to a random stranger, which is kind of weird. Okay. But like I said, I, ju I just feel like that that's maybe that's the logic that this person was in. You know, it's like, you know, I'm we'll meet, you know talking to this person at the bar, but, you know, I'm probably never going to see this person again. So it's kind of like, you know, you know, they don't have anything against me or anything like that. OK, we have the Nine of Pentacles here and the Ten of Cups with the Eight of Swords here and the Fool card, Aries energy, Aquarius energy. You know, I feel like with the Eight of Swords here and the Fool, like I feel like someone here was completely paranoid that someone here was acting foolishly. Yeah. Seven of Cups here in the Strength card. I just feel like, you know, I, I do feel like there could have been the situation that someone here was out there exploring other options here or that someone here just did not have self-control here. One of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, with the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups here, you know, someone here ruined a per perfectly good thing here. We have the Ten of Swords here and the Nine of Pentacles. Tell me the Ten of Cups here and the Two of Cups. This is a very beautiful connection here, by the way. This is a very interest. I would say this is a pretty interesting person here. You know what? You know it might. You know whatever they've done here, it might seem illogical, not very logical to you. But for some reason, you know it's logical to this person. It's very real to them. Um, tell me about this Eight of Swords here. We got the Hierophant. Tell me about this uh, Fool and the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel I feel like this person broke a promise here. Yeah. And I feel like when this person broke a promise and, you know, you caught them in that, I, I just feel like this person didn't really have the capacity at that time to really make things right here with you. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The Seven of Cups here and the Page, uh, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And the uh, Strength card here and the Knight of Swords. Who, whoever you were dealing with here, I feel like this person was very, 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 very impulsive here. Okay. I do feel like while they were, you know, looking for someone on the other side of the grass, they were, they could have been talking to someone else besides you. Let's see. Will there be reconciliation between Aquarius and their ex? Will there be reconciliation between Aquarius and their ex for January 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have the Two of Wands here. We have the Ten of Pentacles. The Hangman here and the Queen of Swords. And the Nine of Cups here and the Chariot. I mean, you could be deciding on this. I, I do feel like someone here is definitely coming back. I do feel like you have a decision to make. But I feel like you're going to think about this and realize, you know what? I'm better off on my own. I'm going to, I, I, I let this go already. I'm not going back, you know, because it's one of those things like, you know, you already left this behind. You know, it could be that you feel like you do want to go back, but it's kind of like, is it worth going back? You know, uh, will it show that, you know, will it show that if, if I do go back, have I really learned my lessons yet? Y you know, and I feel like you have. Okay, because the Nine of Cups here in the Chariot, yeah, I just feel like, I feel like you're going to run off on your own here, Aquarius. And just focus on your own cups, the Two of Wands and the Death card, the uh, Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. You know, I just feel like, you know, I'm just feeling like an energy with the Death card here and the Six of Swords. It's kind of like, yeah, things ended for a reason. There's no point in going back, you know, the Death card here. So I feel like you changed a lot as a person here. Okay, so the uh, 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 the hangman and the four of swords, the queen of swords and the three of swords. I feel like you made peace here. Yeah, I feel like you made peace here with this connection. You know, it's sort of like you want nothing but the best for them. But I just, I, I just, you know, I just feel like you just can't be around them anymore. Um, I just feel like you just don't want to be taken advantage again. 
the uh, Nine of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, the Seven of, uh, no, the, the uh, Chariot here and the Five of Swords. So what we have here is I feel like you're moving towards a new beginning here, okay? But, you know, your person could be in this energy of, like, wanting to fight for you or that they're not going to give up here. But, you know, I just feel like you're looking towards the future. You have nothing more to give to this individual here, okay? So, um, Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I'll speak to you guys in the next one, all right? Thanks, guys. Bye.